What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Today we're going to be doing some 1995-96 Fleer Basketball. Really fun set. I did Series 2 on the channel. Uh, we got the Garnett Rookie Cards. We hit a hot pack which had uh, the Total O Cards. Here you have the Total D Cards. Uh, there's a Jordan in that set. You also have the Blair Hardwood Leader Cards. Very cool set. Uh, you also had Jordan's Base Card in here. So just a really cool box. I really liked these cards uh, when I did series one. So decided, or sorry, series two. So decided to do series one. Uh, I'm guessing the hot packs on this are the total D cards, but I'm not 100% sure. There's four different insert cards. It says. Let's see here. So we got the total D cards only in regular packs, double doubles, all stars, and franchise features. Franchise futures. Uh, 200 card basic set. Hot packs are randomly inserted. 11 different insert cards. Odds of finding are 1 in 72. So, and then 27 Flair Hardwood leaders, one card per pack. So, I believe there is a Jordan Flair Hardwood leader in here. Um, so, we got a good shot at hitting that. Brandon's in here. Pal, long putt. What's going on, guys? Like the video if you could. You can see here the plastic has the Flair logo on there. So. Didn't have any issue with the card sticking or anything like that for the Series 2 box. So hopefully the same will be said with this box here. See the Fleer logos there. Really, I just really like the set. I think it's cool. Um, seems like the designs on the cards are all different. Oh, okay, this one's different instead of just popping open. You have to tear at the bottom, apparently. And here's our packs here. So I don't know, like the hot packs for Series 2 was all the cards were total O cards. So I'm not sure if it's the same thing with these where it's all cards from like the same. Uh, or if they have that logo on it or whatever. Uh, we'll just have to see. James, what's going on. So right off the bat you see the hardwood leader card there. And I do remember these. Um, Flair had its own individual set, but they did make the Flair Hardwood Leader cards uh, in the regular Flair packs, as you can see. Um, this one's Gary Payton, and then we're going to flip the cards around and check these out. So we are looking for the Jordan base card out of here. Chris Weber. There's a Shaq. Very nice. I like that one. Is that an insert? It is. Shaq double double insert on the first pack, and it's looking very minty. Very, except for that line at the top. Factory line at the top. Other than that, I was going to say pretty mint. But first insert, besides the hardwood leader, that's. So you get one of these in every pack, plus you have other inserts in the same pack, so very cool, man. Wasn't expecting that. Gabriel, what's going on? Gabriel. These uh, hardwood leaders seem to like stick to the actual packaging. We got Mitch Richmond. That's a cool one. Alonzo Mourning. Eddie Jones. Would have been his second year card there. John Stockton. So we did get another double double. It's John Stockton this time. And alrighty. Very, very cool. Um, Apparently these are going to be more common. There's 12 cards in the set. And once again, that one has a line. It's just a little bit down more. So, nice insert cards. I don't know. I don't think Jordan had a card in that set. The insert set. So, Ooh, some of these packs are being a little bit mean to us. Let's see if the other end. They must have went overdrive on the... Um, on, on the glue or whatever because that is like crazy couldn't even get this freaking thing to open let's see how that does there we go man yeah, they went like overdrive on that glue alright we got Reggie Miller hardwood leader uh, long putt John what's going on that sounds good I haven't had a good steak in a while we got Sam Perkins, Spreewell. We got a total D. Nice. We got a Patrick Ewing. Once again with the lines. 
every one of these cards has like a line through it. It's very weird. But total D, Patrick Ewing. That is card 2 of 12. So there's two cards in that set. Let me see what these are. Okay. I do like the total D cards. There's the Jordan and the total D set. So hopefully we get lucky enough to pull one here. So we're looking for Total D Jordan, Flair Hardwood Leader Jordan, and the Jordan Base. Man, they just went overdrive on this. Can't even barely get these packs open. <laughs> Crazy. Urgh. We got Tim Hardaway. Maybe we'll start a separate pile just for the Hardwood Leaders. So there we go, Tim Hardaway. Brandon, what's going on? Yeah, the, there's a Grant Hill. The base Jordan card, I mean, it's, we're probably going to get one, maybe two in a box. We got a Vin Baker. Double-double. Robert Horry, David Robinson. It's like the first few cards are like the base cards, and then some of the other ones had different designs. I really wish they wouldn't have glued the freaking crap out of these things. You cannot get these open. We got Matumbo, hardwood leader there. There we go. We got the Jordan. There it is. Nice. All right. That's the one we're looking for, guys. The base Michael Jordan card. Kind of just checking out the lighting. The nothing wrong with it that I can see. Maybe a little on the corner there. Very, very nice. We got the Jordan base card. Sweet. Set that up here. Should get another one, hopefully, in the box. Oh, that, that pack wor actually worked out pretty good. See, it's like stuck to the cards because of the surface. It's like completely stuck to the card. We got Glenn Rice. Lindsey Hunter. We got another double double shack. Same deal as the last one where it has that factory line going through it or whatever. I don't know what the heck happened there with the surface, but maybe when they were putting the gloss or whatever on it, it just went weird. But a nice shack insert, and we got two of them, so that's pretty crazy. Seems to be we either get a total D insert or we get a. Um, it's a double double insert. So far we've got one, two, three, four. Didn't we get another one in here? Yeah, five. Five so far. I think how many packs in are we? Five packs in. Oh, so every pack pretty much. Very nice. Yeah, let's look at the hardwood leaders. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we've done six packs, so we have one, only one pack without an insert, besides the hardwood leader. But being that there's 27 hardwood leaders and 36 packs, we should get a Jordan in here. And these are maybe a, one factory line in there, but Tony Kukoc. Very cool. Total D Stockton. Clyde Drexler. Popeye Jones. Let's get Stockton on the sleeve. I like these Total D cards. Once again with the Gloss and these are tough cards. If you can get the Jordan and a 10, it's like $300 cards. So there's 12 cards in that set. So hopefully, we get the Jordan and then the Jordan Hardwood Leader. Looks like we got Elijah on here. Make sure to leave a like if you guys are liking the videos. Um, okay, we got Elijah on. Let's flip them around. Gary Payton, Spud Webb. Uh, we got uh, Malone, double-double insert. Dennis Rodman, not too shabby. So, I don't, like I said, I don't think Jordan had a double-double card, if I recall. But there's 12 cards in the set, so. Oh, man, these packs are just unreal. Unreal. 
And, oh man, I thought it was Jordan for a second there. I got excited. It is not. It's another Glenn Rice. So we already got a double. That's not good news. Be nice if we would have got two Jordans already. Um, let's see. Donnell Marshall. Finn Baker. So we got a double on that one as well. Sean Bradley. And, alrighty. Cut the top of the pack, yeah. That's what I'm doing if they're not opening. If they're if they're being weird, I'll just cut the top of the pack. And then and then they just oops. And this just pops off, but they just went overboard on the on the glue. Alright, we got David Robinson. There's a nice one. Del Curry, Craig Elo. So we're getting Q coach, yeah, we're getting doubles again. Mitch Richmond, Clyde Drexler, Popeye Jones. Crazy. Not even a f like fourth of the way in and we're already getting all the doubles. Lloyd Vaught. Sam Mitchell, Vin Baker, Kemp. Scotty Pippen, I like that one. All-Star Weekend card. Really cool. With the background and everything. He, he really pops out in a purple uniform. Oh, and it's got Sean Kemp on the back of it. Oh, it's an insert card. Hold the phone, guys. I did not <laughs> I did not even realize. We got a Sky Pippen All-Star Weekend. Very nice and mint. With a Sean Kemp on the back. Card 2 of 13. Not sure on the value on that one, but that's a cool looking card, man. I like that. Have to look into it after the video. Jamal Mashburn and nobody. So that's three different insert sets then. Or this set. Okay, that's the fourth set then. So you got the hardwood leaders, total D, double double, and then the all star weekend. Once again, I don't think Jordan was in the all star weekend because he was retired at the time. Um, okay. Charles Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, back-to-back -back packs, guys. Let's go. Nice. This one uh, looks even better than the Pippin did. Man, oh man, with the one on the back. That might I might have to grade that one. Put that in the PC. That's a cool looking card. So, Shaquille O'Neal on the front. Part of the um, Eastern, and then the Western. You got Hakeem Olajuwon. Man, what a sweet card. I like the look of that card. Bradley again, and Dale Ellis. So looking good on the inserts on here. I was just looking forward to the hardwood leader, the base Jordan, and then potentially the total D card. I didn't really know what else was in here, because they don't tell you. We got a Grant Hill. Some of these are a little weird on the surface, but that one's looking pretty good. Glenn Robinson, Robert Parrish. He must have been pretty late in his career there. Anthony Hardaway. We got a David Robinson double-double. It's a decent one. Should get most of that set. Maybe not all 12 of them. Same with the total D. Hopefully we get the Jordan, though. Hopefully we don't get shorted out here. Yeah, this box, I wasn't expecting this box and it showed up today, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully we get some more good stuff showing up here. Jim Jackson. I just ordered a box of Prism Basketball. I'm going to kind of keep that top secret till it shows up. It's not the new set, so some good rookies in there. We got Patrick Ewing double-double. So I'm just kind of uh, ordering some stuff we haven't uh, done yet on the channel. Just kind of seeing what's on the market and trying to get good deals. Do some random stuff. Uh, basketball's about to get going again, so a lot of these players are going to start heating up on their card prices. Um, so a lot of the rookies and a lot of the um, teams that are going to be making it into the playoffs, into the finals... You're going to see some, some movement on some cards, so 
kind of get ramping up for that, I guess. Sabellos. All right, we got Eddie Jones again, Chris Weber again. Tyrone Hill. Okay. Probably not one of the better ones we could have pulled. And then Carl Malone on the back. Not bad. I am seeing a line on that one. So our third All-Star Weekend card. Seven in the morning in Australia. Um, seven in the morning in Australia. So it must be Monday morning then. That is crazy. It's, it's like Sunday. Sunday afternoon right now here. <laughs> Quite the difference in time zones. All right, we got an, uh, Reggie Miller. I think we might have got that one earlier. And those Flair Hardwood leader cards are a little thicker too. Lots of morning. Shaquille O'Neal, that's a cool one, man. And a Larry Johnson All-Star Weekend, okay. Let's see up Shaq here. A little white on the corner. Uh, just his base card, but very cool looking card. It's got him on the front and then him in the background. Like zoomed in. And then we got Larry Johnson All-Star Weekend with Delph Shrimp on the back. So not one of the better ones you can pull. Card 8 of 13. I think that's our fourth All-Star Weekend card. And... Jalen Rose. All right, if we're gonna get the Jordan base, it's, it's gonna be on the front of the pack. That's how we got the last one. Still haven't got the hardwood Jordan yet. Still got half the box to go here. We got Tim Hardaway. I think we might have got that one already too. Kind of gonna be bummed if we don't hit the Jordan. It's only like a, probably ten, fifteen dollar card, but we got a Patrick Ewing, very nice, and a David Robinson on the back. That's a good one. Cool looking cards. I, I like them. The purple with the green in the background, it's cool looking. And on the back you got the purple in the background with the white jersey. Just kind of matches up good. Cool design. Um, I think I paid like $70 for the box or something like that. They're usually going for around up to 100 bucks. So I, that's around what I paid for the first box. I just like the set so much I had to have series one as well. And I like, I'm liking this one pretty much just as much as the second series. Second one, you had Garnett rookies. You had the to, um, total O cards. The total O cards were rare. Just like these total D cards, we've only gotten like, what, two total D cards so far? Cedric Cabello's. Grant Hill again. Michael Jordan again. I was going to call it, but man, we got a second Michael Jordan base card. And. Can't tell if that's a little white in the corner with the purple. And no corner ding like the last one had. So, really nice Jordan base card. I'll take it. Vladi Divac. So are we going to get an insert card? Yes, we do. We get another. All We're killing it on these all-star cards. Reggie Miller. And this one has a line on the back, not the front. Latrell Sprewell. Very nice. We have to have at least half the set now of the All-Stars. Let me see here how many we got so far. And we're halfway in. Start off with the Shaq and the Pippin. The best two ones we got. So two, three, four, five, six. So we got almost half the set of that. So curious to see if we complete the set. I'm going to say we're probably not going to complete the set, but it'd be nice if we did. Ah, man, some of these packs, man. It's not hard to do this. Just cut the top off and then open it up. Let's get the Jordan already. Ah, we got the Glenn Robinson. I'm getting worried about that Jordan Hardwood leader, man. I want to see that card come out of here. And some of them just have, like, some lines and stuff. It's a tough it's a tough card. I think I had one graded, and I think it graded an 8, if I remember. Just not easy. What's our insert going to be? Another Total D, and we got Alonzo Morning Total D. Very nice. Still looking for the Jordan. Uh, we've got like three Total D cards, I think, now, out of the 12. So 25% of the set. Um, so might get like one more, maybe two more at most, I'm guessing. Hopefully it's going to be the Jordan. Let me 
second half needs to pull through and get the hardwood Jordan and the total D Jordan, and I'll be happy. Heck, I'll be happy with just one of them at this point. It's like some of these cards were slid in the pack and they kind of got damaged. There's uh, Popeye Jones, double double card. That's funny. Dominique Wilkins. Dikembe Mutombo on the back. All right. Yeah, you can see like these cards are more th like thicker cards. How many have we got so far? One, two, three. See, we're getting doubles here. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. Did we already get him? We already got him. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20 of them. And we got Mitch Richmond twice. We got Reggie Miller twice. So that's kind of worrying me that we're getting doubles of all these guys. It means we're less likely to hit that Jordan. But all we can do is cross our fingers at this point. Wish me luck here, guys. We need it. We really need it. Dana Barrows, I don't think we hit him yet. Could be wrong. Spud Webb, John Williams. Patrick Ewing again on the Patrick Ewing. David Robinson, so we got a double on that one. Interesting. Tom Guglada, Jason Kidd, Reggie Williams, and Doug West. All right. Might have to get another box of these. I do like this box. Um, uh, I mean, just for the Jordan base and then the hardwood. And you also have can get the total D. I don't know. It's a cool set. We got Patrick Ewing. Hardwood leader there. Glenn Robinson. Oh, my God. What do we got coming up here, guys? Holy crap. What is this? I thought we already hit all the insert cards. It says four unique, four unique card designs. Or maybe that's talking about... No, it says four limited edition inserts. So is, is are they not counting the hardwood leaders as inserts? We got a franchise features. Chris Weber. Man, that is a cool looking card. Dude, nine of nine. Okay. So the cool, like, foil, hard to get card out of here. Uh, apparently, it's just franchise features. It's Chris Weber. So, do not recall these cards at all. Kim Olajuwon, John Stockton. So, it must be that set, Total D, the All Star, and the Double Double are the four sets. Um, and then they just don't count that as an insert set. So, man, that's weird. Very, very sick. I don't know what the pull rates were on that. Let me see if it says on the pack. Hot pack, 172. Uh, odds are one in three packs to one in 37. So that was a one in 37 then. Pretty much one per box on that one. Very insanely awesome. Christian Leitner. Will Purdue. Robert Parrish. Double double of Olajuwon. It's a cool one. And then th those, I'm assuming, are the one and three pack ones. <laughs> Kim Olajuwon. Because we got quite a few of them. I mean, I guess we got a lot of the All Star ones too. It's hard to say. M. Gunther, what's going on? Still coming up short on the Jordan. So, I mean, we got two base Jordans, but kind of expected that. It's really the inserts I'm after. <gasps> no freaking way we hit the Jordan Hardwood Leader. Let's go, man. Got the Jordan Hardwood Leader. Yes. All righty. So it's got like a one line kind of scuff thing going on there. Um, don't know if I can pick that up on the right there. I don't know if that would wipe off or not. Let me try. Probably not, though, if it's... No, it's in there. Okay, and then the back. Hopefully I have a shot at a 9, though. I mean, it's nice-looking cards. Uh, centering looks to be pretty good on it. So we got the Jordan Hardwood Leader. 
Card number four of 27. Let's kind of look at the backs of these. 25, four, did we get any other numbers? We got four, we got six, eight, nine. So we didn't get a lot of uh, cards in the single digits, so maybe we got them all coming up here at the end. But Flair Hardwood Leader, I will take it. So now I'm just hoping for that total D card, but not expecting it. Uh, Tyrone Hill, double double. And no Hall of Famers in that pack. Other than Jordan. Interesting. Alright, total D Jordan. Can we find him? Um, you bought one rack pack and pulled 13 Jordans. That sounds a little too hard to believe. Unless it was a rack box, like a whole box of them. 89.90 hoops. Uh, very cool. Good luck on that. If it's Series 1, you get more Jordans out of there, I think. Dominique Wilkins. Haven't seen that one yet. Card 2. See what I mean? So we're starting to get those single-digit cards. So there might be another Jordan in here. We might get lucky. We got Kukok. Double-double of Popeye Jones. I think we already hit that one. Dino Raja. Christian Leitner. Jamal Mashburn. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty average on those rack boxes. There's a lot, like, extra cards in there. And, um, I like those rack boxes. I was getting them for, like, 22, 25 bucks a piece. But I just got really lucky. We got Christian Leitner to start it off. Card 16 on that one. Maybe we'll get another Jordan base and get lucky here. Never know. Ah, man. Sean Kemp. Hoping for that double-double Jordan, man. It could happen. I think we've only hit like four double double cards. Let me see here. Double double. Or double D. Total D. We got one total D. Two. We got three. Did we only get three of them? I thought we got more than that. Maybe it's hiding out somewhere in here. Either way, I, it's going to be tough. I think we might get one more on the total D cards. So hopefully we hit the Jordan. If not, it's like a $10 card. Not the end of the world. Double D. <laughs> yeah. Total D. Well, there's Total D and uh, Double Double. So it's kind of... We got Dikembe Mutombo. Seven, card 7. Steve Kerr looking angry. Probably right after he got punched by Jordan in the face. <laughs> Reggie Miller. Come on, Total D. Another morning, though. We got a lot of morning all star weekend with Takembe Mutembo on the back. I like those cards. I'm probably going to grade that Shaq. I might do the Pippin as well. It's just a cool card. Cool looking inserts. Undervalued inserts. Maybe another Jordan Hardwood leader? That would be insane, huh? Uh, tell me it's another freaking Glenn Rice. That's like our third grand. Third Grant Glenn Rice, man. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Just go back, because he was one of the first ones we hit. Yeah, there's another Glenn Rice. We freaking got robbed on this box. We got trolled by Glenn Rice. Box was like 70 bucks, I think. They're usually up around 100. A little less if you can get lucky. Grant Hill. All right, we got a Grant Hill. And Charles Barkley. Very nice. I wonder who won that. All-Star Game. Uh, the team with Shaq and Pippen and Grant Hill, or was it a team with like Barkley and all them? Hmm. Dino Raja again. Christian Leitner. Eight more packs, so our last shot here of getting that total D Jordan. And maybe another hardwood Jordan. I would definitely buy another one of these boxes, though. I think I like this set. There's Barkley. Shaquille O'Neal. Another one of those. Carl Malone. Double Double. Isaiah Ryder. Okay, let's go ahead and sleeve up Shaq. Seems like that upper left corner is always a little bit weak. Yeah, and even there and there. Tough card on this one. Just his base card, but cool looking design. 
card 130. My ops net, what's going on? We get it. Oh, we got a Shaq hardwood leader. Nice. That's a new one, guys. That is a new one. We didn't uh, get this one earlier, so. Must be earlier in the set, I'm gonna guess. Probably one of the first five cards in the set or something. I have no idea, honestly. No, oh, card 19. Let's take a look at Shaquille O'Neal. He doesn't have a scuffy. Okay, he's got like a little thing going on at the bottom. Yeah. Right there, there's some sort of something. Unfortunately, something had some damage of some sort. It's kind of like pushed up. Alrighty, not sure on the, probably a few bucks on that one, I would guess. Because, like I said, the Jordan's like five, ten bucks or whatever. Alright. Steve Kerr again, looking angry. Come on, double. Oh, we got a double D card. <laughs> total D card, guys. Is it the Jordan? Oh, I thought it was a total D card. I got faked out because of this edging right here. Uh, it's a Dikembe Mutombo. Double, double. Double D. All right, we got Carl Malone. Shaq looks funny on that, yeah. I thought we got trolled by Glenn Rice again. <laughs> Three of the same hardwood leader, though, in one box. Um, wish we could get some more Jordans. Derek Coleman. Pretty soon here, I'm going to start buying up more Jordan cards. So look forward to that. We'll probably do some mail day type stuff. Come on. Oh, we got a total D card, guys. We got a total D card. Let's go, Jordan. Mm, we got Rodman, though. Not bad. Not going to complain. It's got a line going through it. A little weak on the corner. Just that, when I think when they put the gloss down, kind of caused that line to happen. Um, blonde hair on the back, red hair on the front. Or pink hair, actually, on the front. Still a nice card. Not worth a ton, but Total D Rodman. I think that's going to be our last total D card, if I had to guess, because um, we got like four so far. So probably one per nine pack, something like that. Yeah, so I'll just have to buy the total D Jordan. <laughs> $10 card, probably. But I need to start, uh, start going ham on the Jordan cards again, because I just... Um, been getting caught up on everything this month and I just got some more. Oh my god, we got the Total D Jordan. Are you kidding me? I thought we were done. We hit the Total D Jordan. <sighs> Threw the cards on, on the table. I couldn't believe it. Holy crap. Was not even expecting it, guys. A little, like, line, factory line and the blip on the card with the... I don't know how they're going to downgrade on that. Because um, this is more from the gloss here. Whereas right here, it's just a f light factory line. Let's see if I can get it on the film. Probably pretty hard to get. See the line there? And then, like, the gloss kind of did something right there. So hopefully they don't downgrade it too much from that. Other than that, it's looking good. The, the gold foil looks good. It's not, there's no corner issues that I'm seeing. Edging looks pretty solid. So, it, I mean, to me, it looks like it has a shot at a 9. But, holy crap, at the end, we got the Jordan total, I thought we were done with the total D cards in the next pack, completely throws me off guard there with the Jordan total D card, so we got Jordan, Hardwood, total D, and two base, man, what a great box, guys, what a great freaking box, let's see what else we got in here, but like I was saying, um, getting caught up on everything, um, I got some more car card savers on the way, um, they're not going to come in stock until July 2nd, so I'll be good to send in. I've got a stack over here of cards that i got to go through that I'm going to be grading uh, some of those, and then I'm just going to start buying up Jordan cards, um, some of the other key players that I'm still buying into, and we'll probably do some, like, mail day type videos or something, show us some of the cards we got. Uh, we got Alonzo Morning, Hardwood Leader, maybe on Mondays, because Monday I always get, like, so many more packages. Oliver Miller, Dudley, 
Cliff Robinson. And it's a Grant Hill. So we got a double on the Grant Hill All Star card. Dominique Wilkins. But I'm not. With that, that's what we were hoping for on the second half, and we hit. So I'm not complaining. Good box, man. And Barkley on the back there. The total D, I think, is like. 10 bucks maybe ish five to ten bucks i don't think it's super expensive same with the hardwood card they've always been relatively cheap so i think it's a really good pickup to find one on ebay i mean there's plenty of them on ebay once you get into psa 9 psa 10 territory the price is going to be a little more but i'm going to just grade them myself and add them to my collection all right we got mookie blaylock Lee Mayberry, Larry Johnson. I don't know how this opening can get any better here. Another total D. Holy crap, we got six total D. As soon as I said, I don't know how it could get any better, and then we hit another total D card. Uh, uh, Dunka JNR, what's going on? First time coming. How are there still boxes around from the 90s? Um, yeah, they mass produced. It was a junk wax era. Um, I don't think every I don't think anything's ever going to get bought up completely and like just disappear cuz as it gets more and more rare, the price is always going to go up on it. So, eventually it's just that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, we got Total D Mookie Playlock. Not probably the worst Total D card we got out of the box, to be honest. So, but we still got 6 of them out of the 12. <clears throat> and we got the Jordan, so 50-50 shot at hitting them when we hit them. More hardwood leaders as well. We got doubles on a lot of them. There's Glenn Robinson. I think that's a double. But I mean, just hitting the one Jordan, I was happy happy with that. That's all I was really expecting slash hoping for. Chris Mullen, and we got, looks like another all-star card coming up here. And it's Shaq again. We got another Shaq. Sweet. Two Shaq all-star cards. That's my favorite one. I mean, as far as what we pulled, that's my favorite one. Second would probably be the Pippin. Tiny little, is that a white dot in the corner? Definitely gonna grade one of these. I think that first one. Ooh, it's got a crease on the back. Uh-oh. That got hit with something because it got creased up right there. Uh, like it bent somehow in the pack. Like right there. Unfortunate about that one. Probably like a $2 card though. Uh, they're they're FLIR, but they're um, they say flare on them, so they come out of the FLIR packs, but they're the flare design with the gloss and the cardstock and everything. Oops, we got a Reggie Miller in there in an accident. Um, but yeah, they're they say flare right on them, but it was just kind of a thing they did in here. I think what year flare came out in what ninety four ninety five, so it's cool that they put them in this set, you know, as like a insert card or whatever you want to say. Um, cool set But yeah, I don't know if you want to consider it's flare, but it's in flare packs, so All right uh, Last pack guys appreciate you coming Say we killed it on this box my personal opinion Just because the main stuff I was going for was those Jordans we hit everything that we could want Because I don't think he has a double double card. I don't think he has all-star card and I'm not sure on that other set I'd, I'll have to look into it see see who's all in these different sets we got Jim Jackson on the last one there Glenn Robinson Robert Parrish and our last insert Ooh, this one or no it's the next one a large one double double I think we hit that one already and then Stockton to end it out so not a bad box let me know what you guys thought I think I did pretty good. Um, like I said, I'll look into the insert cards to see which ones we didn't hit. Um, but I think we got pretty much everything we could want with all the Jordans, the Shaq. Uh, I like those All-Star cards. We got the, the Shaq Hardwood Leader, as well as the Jordan Hardwood Leader, the Total D cards, and this really cool franchise features, franchise futures with the Chris Mullen. Those are about one in a box hit, so. Were these all all-star? Holy crap. How many all-star cards did we get? I think we didn't get any right off the bat. We got all the double-doubles. 
and then total Ds, and then all of a sudden we started hitting all-star cards. So I think these were a little bit more common. Probably along the lines of one and three packs. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, just about one and three packs. <clears throat> so I think we got most of the set here. Card one, card three, nine, ten, five, eight. Yeah, we got a double on that one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three. So we got card one, two, three. We didn't get four. We got five. We didn't get six. We didn't get six, four, and 11, 12, and 13. So there's five cards in the set we did, just didn't hit. But we got doubles on some of them. So I'm guessing uh, we got the best ones. We got Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know who else would have been in the All-Star game. Um, but yeah, cool cards. Not sure what this set has for the nine cards, but not too bad. Yeah, Sly one, you're a little bit late here. <laughs> um, just to recap, we got Jordan, Total D, Jordan, Hardwood Leader, two Jordan Base, a bunch of Hardwood Leaders, including the Shaq card. Lots of doubles in here, some triples, some good names in here. I'll have to see which ones we didn't get. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We might be back later for something. Not really sure what we're going to do, though. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.